iOS 11 is finally here and these are the top 10 features. Now there are a few minor added changes and features like you can actually shrink the keyboard, you can drag and drop text inside of any texting app, that's kind of convenient, you can copy and paste it anywhere you want. There's a new video player inside of Safari that is more clean looking and has some added features like skipping. Now the control center is fully customizable and airplane modes remember what you turn on and what you turn off. You can also adjust the brightness of flashlight. Inside of the messaging app, you can actually pair friends and you can store all your iMessages on iCloud. There's a new spotlight and echo effect when you send a message, that's kind of cool. Now you can finally offload applications, so when you're running low on storage, you can just offload an application and when you want it back, you can just get it straight through iCloud with all your data. The new app store plays videos, there are new cards and this thing actually adapts to your likings and dislikings, that is really cool. You finally have a file manager, instead you can just do anything, it's just limited to iCloud and Dropbox. iOS 11 mainly focuses on the iPad, so to improve the iPads, we finally have a dock, a new control center just like the iPhone, so whenever you open an application, you swipe up from the bottom, you now have your dock that's kind of convenient just like the macbook now there's a new dark mode now this is not official you can activate it inside of accessibility display accommodations invert colors and turn on smart invert it will just invert and make every white color black except your home screen drag and drop is just not limited to text you can actually drag and drop your pictures and drop them anywhere you want like make an album of all these pictures but just grabbing them and dropping them in a new album that's really convenient and easy and there are many visual changes like there's no labels on the dock there are newer icons and newer wallpapers that look really cool so guys that was it hope you guys enjoyed the video i also have a video about the hidden features and also have a video on how to downgrade to ios 10.3.3 without losing data so hope you guys enjoyed give this video a big thumbs up do subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed until then peace